we have to acknowledge that in the past, security forces have ignored the real and urgent threat of white supremacists and of extreme right-wing groups. They've ignored them. And because of that historic ignorance of these groups, it has resulted in Canadians losing their lives and people around the world being more at risk. That is a problem with systemic racism is that resources get applied in a way where they do not protect Canadians. And we saw that in the States, the open threats by these extreme right-wing groups and by these white supremacist groups were ignored and the entire institution was under attack. The whole point of these security agencies is to protect the fundamental democratic institutions and they failed miserably, which exposes how much systemic racism leaves people in danger. And that's why today is a good step forward because it's realigning our resources with the real threats. And, and I wanna delineate two things. One is the systemic approach to how we assess risks. It should absolutely be done in an evidence-based way with experts evaluating the real evidence and then making a decision based on that evidence. No question about it. That is the way things should be done. And I encourage that to, to be the way things are done moving forward and always. But here is a problem. That evidence was ignored. The evidence of the real threat posed by white, uh, white supremacists and by extreme right-wing groups was ignored. In that context, then it is a moral imperative for leaders to stand up and say, hey, something is going on here. The evidence is being ignored. We are calling on you to realign the resources towards the real threats. And that has been the problem. And I wanna be very specific. A certain threat was ignored completely. Other threats were given more importance, which was contrary to the evidence. At that point, I think political leaders should step up and say, something is wrong here. And that's what I did. And that's what I think is vital that we do. The systemic approach to how we evaluate risk should absolutely remain evidence-based. Experts should evaluate it and make that decision. But when they are not doing their job or when they're ignoring the real threats, then it becomes important for a leader to stand up and say, hey, these groups have been ignored. It's put Canadians at risk. That needs to end. That's what we did.